COVID-19 screening sounds very complicated, but it's not. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian McDonough, and now here's how it works. What we really want is a quick and inexpensive test to see if someone is positive. Now, the Food and Drug Administration has approved antigen tests. They're the ones that are about $5, and they're done rather quickly. Well, they have a higher rate of false positives. Now, people get all upset about that. They don't want so many false positives, but that's actually okay. Because what you're doing is you're screening the general public and everybody who's positive doesn't go to work. They don't go out and infect others. That's what a lot of politicians are upset about. They say, wait a minute, we have too many positives. Who cares how many positives we have? The key is you find out who is positive, even if there's an excess number of false positives. Because then what you do, and this is the part that isn't always being done, is it works only when you have a second test, a confirmatory test. So if someone is positive, they get a confirmatory test. Now remember, when you first test people, the vast majority are gonna be negative. But for those who are positive, you get them out of circulation and you do a confirmatory test. Now that's the one that takes longer. That's the one you have to wait a week or three or five days to get back. That's because it is a confirmatory PCR test. It's slower, it's more complex, it's more accurate, it's a molecular scan that looks for the genetic material of the new coronavirus. In other words, this has to be a two-step process. Where we're kind of messing up as a country is we're either not screening or we're screening with the wrong test. Bottom line, use the quick one initially on everybody. You'd get that umbrella thrown out there. Then what you do is you do the confirmatory test. It's really not that hard. It's really not that more expensive. In fact, it's far less expensive if you'd reduce the number of cases. And get this, even more important than expensive is, it's gonna save lives and value each of us as people.